So I recently heard that a school district, just a school district in California, has banned the book, the classic book, To Kill a Mockingbird, from being taught or read in schools. Which is one thing, but the reason... Racism. Because of racism, a classic novel with the central anti-racism message has been banned because of racism. Okay. Wow. <laughs> That's fascinating to me. Fascinating for a lot of reasons, man. I'm just going to share a couple of uh, quotes from To Kill a Mockingbird. First, perhaps, my favorite. Bad language is a stage all children go through, and it dies when they learn they're not attracting attention with it. I've been asked a number of times, Ramsey, why don't you use foul language on your channel? Why don't we hear you curse? The answer, because I don't. The guy you see on screen is the guy I am in real life. It's not a character. This is me. Why don't I swear? Why don't I use curse words? Why don't I use profanity? It doesn't help me one little bit to get my point across. It's quite a fascinating quote from this book. Bad language is a stage all children go through. Children. But we generally tend to use terms like adult language when explaining away why certain movies get their ratings or certain TV show shows are not necessarily recommended for children. Bad language is a stage that children go through until they learn they're not attracting attention with it. But as long as we give attention to it, we're going to hear it. It's pretty meaningless, though, if you think about it. Let's take the F word, for example. What does that mean? I mean, look it up. Look it up in a dictionary. Look it up on Urban Dictionary, and you will find... Hundreds and hundreds of possible definitions because it's been used and abused and misused and semantically drifted through the decades to mean anything you want it to mean, meaning it's meaningless. If something means anything, it doesn't mean anything. If something means everything, it doesn't mean anything. If you look at a dog and that dog is barking at you, what is that dog saying? It could be a lot of things. It could be anger. It could be frustration. It could be hunger. It could be all kinds of things. That's why dogs don't have sophisticated societies. They've got very simple hierarchies. Same thing with babies. Babies cry, and we have to do some guesswork. What does this cry mean? Based on the context. And eventually, maybe we'll figure it out. And maybe we won't. But that's one of the main reasons why babies learn how to talk. Why humans develop speech. Because words mean things. The most advanced technology that human beings have ever created... And the most advanced technology that currently eludes us is the ability to record and transmit information, words specifically, over long periods of time. Paper doesn't last that long. Even the most well-preserved paper vacuum-sealed 
under the ideal conditions with lots of luck. I mean, how many of those do we have? The Dead Sea Scrolls? Not in super great condition. After all the centuries, they've been sealed up. Digital media, after a couple of decades, gone. Degraded. Even words etched onto monuments of stone over the millennia will become smooth, worn away. Dust. And when NASA sent out the Voyager spacecraft into space with a golden LP record on it, because gold doesn't corrode, doesn't rust, that was the most advanced technology they could think of to record information, to send off into space on a space flight that could take millions of years before it reaches another star system. On the slim chance that this message in a bottle may be received by intelligent life elsewhere capable of recognizing what they're looking at, they etched it onto a gold LP record. And that's not super high technology, but that's the most space-age thing we could come up with. To send that message in a bottle out into space to last for millennia. Words matter a great deal. You're only as good as your word. Ever heard that before? An old aphorism that old men used to say to young men, you're only as good as your word. My word is my bond. When those words are spoken honestly, oh, what power they hold. I want my words to mean something. I want my words to have power and efficacy to create change, positive change in my life, in the lives of those I speak them to. So cursing at you. I mean, think about that. What is a curse? It is a set of words meant to inflict some sort of bad outcome on the person who hears them. Why? What would be the point of that? I don't want to curse you. I want to bless you. I worship a being who said at one point, bless those that curse you. Pray for those who despitefully use you. And he also said, Swear not at all. Now he wasn't talking about profanity, he was talking about swearing in the classical sense of making an oath. As was common in the ancient Hebrew culture, they would make oaths to affirm to others that they were speaking the truth. They would swear by their own, their own heads, swear by the heavens, swear by the earth, swear by whatever it was that would convince their listeners they were telling the truth. And Jesus said, swear not at all. Not by thine own head, for thou canst not make one hair black nor white. Not by the heavens, for it is God's throne, nor by the earth, for it is his footstool. But let your sayings be one to another. Yea, yea, that's an old-timey way of saying yes, and nay, nay, an old-timey way of saying no. Yes and no. Keep it that simple, for anything that comes of more than that is evil, he said. Speak the truth, keep it simple, yes or no. We don't need to dress it up by making oaths unto the heavens. Why? Because people see right through you.
Your actions speak so loud that I can't hear a word you're saying. It's a quote that's been attributed to a number of people. I heard it from the dude who produced Sesame Street. Remember that TV show with all the Muppets and Big Bird and Elmo and Grover and the Cookie Monster? Your actions speak so loud that I can't hear a word you're saying. So if you're trying to dress up your speech with lies, and that, that is what a curse word is to me, it's, it's a lie. Some people get angry, and so to try to express that anger vocally, they will shout out a curse word. They're angry at a person. They will call them a name, an angry name. They will try to demean that person. They will try to curse that person. You are stupid. You are wrong. You are bad. You are less than me. How does that help? A mockingbird doesn't do anything except sing beautiful music for all those who hear. I'm going to paraphrase this quote because I don't remember it perfectly. A mockingbird doesn't make a mess, doesn't get into corn cribs. They just sing beautiful music for everyone. That is why it is a sin to kill a mockingbird. And something else, the being that I worship taught was this. The God of heaven notes the fall of a single sparrow, a tiny little bird. They are numbered unto him. But remember this, you are of more value than many sparrows. If the God of heaven notes the fall of a tiny little songbird that does nothing but sing beautiful music for all to hear, for all to enjoy, that does nothing to curse the world or make it worse, but everything to do it better, and you are of more value than that, then prove it. <laughs> 